The Grom, Thunder, is a new Ukrainian short-range ballistic missile that is currently being developed. Sometimes it is referred as the Grom II. The missile project is dated back to 2003, however at that time there was no funding to begin development. In 2014 after the Russian military actions in Ukraine it was announced that the missile will be developed and deployed. So far only a prototype of this system exists. Development should be completed within the next few years. The Grom is equivalent to the Russian Iskander short-range ballistic missile. Once in service the Grom could replace an older Tachkayu short-range ballistic missiles that has a range of 120 kilometers and is currently the main Ukrainian army's ground attack missile. It is also planned that the Grom ballistic missile will be offered for export customers. A mock-up of the missile was revealed in 2016. The Grom is expected to have a firing range of up to 500 kilometers. These missiles can strike important enemy targets such as missile sites, concentration of troops and equipment, as well as command posts. In some cases this ballistic missile can be used as an alternative to precision bombing. Grom's 500 km range is sufficient to strike a number of important targets in Russia. It is planned that there will be also a downgraded export version with smaller fuel tanks, range of 280 km and 480 kg warhead. The export version must not exceed 300 km range and 500 kg payload limits in order to meet export restrictions set by the Missile Technology Control Regime MTCR. It is planned that the Grom launcher vehicle will be also capable of carrying and launching Korshan land attack cruise missiles with a range of 280 to 700 kilometers. The Korshan missile is planned to be developed in Ukraine. It resembles a Soviet KH-55 air-launched cruise missile. The Grom launcher vehicle uses a five-axle chassis, which has some degree of cross-country mobility and can travel off-road. It carries two missiles. Each missile can be targeted independently. Most likely that several different conventional warheads will be created. The launcher vehicle is operated by a crew of three. Each Grom launcher vehicle will be supported by an associated reloading vehicle, which will be fitted with a crane and will carry reload missiles. A battery of these launchers will be supported by a command vehicle, as well as maintenance and repair vehicles. 